Hey guys, welcome back. So I want to work on the login page now. Um, we just left it as a just a header. Now I want to actually create a login form and authenticate users. So we'll go back to our components and go ahead and set up the login page. So now we want to create a form for it. We're going to have an on submit. And we're going to handle the submit. Similarly to the um, sign up page. And we'll have our form fields for the username and password, or uh, email in this case. Now we'll get the input name username and this is actually the same as our sign up so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste get rid of that let's format that nice so now let's get the constructor. And we're going to set the default state with the username and password being blank. And password. And then our handle submit function, which we're about to add, we want to bind it to this do handle submit and before we do that let's just make sure this is working nicely cool instead of sign up we want to say log in and the login form is looking nicely now let's make it actually work so in our handle submit what we'd like to do is very similarly to our sign up we would like to make an action to verify this time the action is going to make a saga and the saga is going to connect to the API uh, the feather server that we set up um, either uh, authenticate the user or tell us the user is not authenticated they put in the wrong password or something and if they put in the right password we'll redirect them to uh, the home page so let's go ahead and do that so our action will call login we'll create this in a second and we'll just pass in the username and the password and then we're going to prevent default and then afterwards just set the state username blank password blank awesome and we're exporting so let's go ahead and create this login action Oops. go down to the bottom here export function login username password we're gonna return an object and login requested. And just passing in the username and password. Let's go ahead and get into the saga now. Similar to our sign up. We're gonna try login. Saga. We listed for login requested. And when requested, we call try login. Let's go ahead and add it here. Login Saga. And then in the try login, we're going to log in, passing in username and password. And then whether it's successful or not, um, we do need that, but we 
we want to store the user in the state so we're going to pass back the user and then what we'll do is then we'll create um, once we get the user we want to actually put him in the state so similar to how we did fetch recipe um, and we put the recipe in the state we want to put the user in the state so we'll say login done then we'll pass in the user so we can store him we'll go ahead and log him still so we can see it and then on, um, we're going to assume um, the login is successful and when it is we'll just go ahead and go to the home page which will be an empty string okay so we just need to import the login and add that to our services and that'll be kind of similar to this one so login we're going to get the app, the email, the password um, we're not going to be doing it like this though instead we're going to authenticate so app.authenticate we're going to be using a store it in the local um, storage so what's going to happen is we're going to request to the server the server is going to give us back a token and that token is going to be saved in local storage so if we already have that token we don't need to put in our username and password we just save it and this is how we'll authenticate later and then we'll have just have email and password we'll do dot then and then this is on the first one this assumes that the login went correct if it went correct we'll just pass the user back which is the response if it did not go correctly we'll catch it grab the error we'll log there and then we'll return an empty object which we can basically say if there's an empty object they're not logged in okay now we want to go to our reducer and actually add the user to the state so we go to reducers we're going to create a new reducer called check login oops check login so I'm just going to be function check login initial state is just going to be an empty object get the action and then switch action type and then we're just going to check we want login done When the login is done, we're going to return action dot user, and the default case we just return state. Let's go ahead and export that. Check login, and then we need to add that to our reducer, our root reducer, because we're going to be passing in a user so check login check login and now because we updated the reducer we also need to update the app so we we'll just come here and we'll say user equals state dot check login very nice so if I didn't make any mistakes that should let us log in. So I'm going to test with that test login that I made before. Let's log in. Let's see if we got any error in our console. We didn't. Oh, something was printed. Okay. So it printed back an object. It looks like it might have worked. Let's see if it was added to our state. Go to connect main. We 
back and check our state and we see a user and that's exactly what we're looking for so we can see that a user is currently logged in because we have the data here and we can use that to basically tell if a user is logged in so that's um, our login page what I'd like to do next is create a little navigation bar at the top here so we can actually tell when a user is logged in and then prompt them to log out and that sort of thing. So that's what we'll do in the next video.